Now, it's been reported this morning that the former This Morning presenter, Philip Schofield, paid his ex-lover a six-figure sum in a non-disclosure deal. According to the report, both Schofield and his former colleague signed the NDA, preventing either party from ever talking about their relationship. Joining me now is showbiz reporter Stephanie Tetchy. Good afternoon, Stephanie. This was a surprise story from the Mail on Sunday, wasn't it? We enjoyed, um, and I, I did enjoy it last year, the drama of, of the Schofield situation. Now we know that he's gagged his lover post all that commotion. What's going on? I'm not surprised about that at all, Ben. As you know, the Philip Schofield scandal with his affair with his younger male colleague was probably one of the worst kept secrets in showbiz for a very long time which the papers had sat on for many years. And obviously they waited till Philip was ready to come public with it. But there's always two sides to this story. And, you know, there's very much more detail which hasn't been made public. And in these kind of situations, yet yeah, we've heard Philip's side of the story last year when he gave that interview to the BBC. But this poor young man, there's much more that the media and journalists themselves, I can imagine, have been proposing him with many figures of money for him to tell his side of the story. And to be honest, Philip Schofield, with this move, it's damage control, because to be honest, it's, the dust has kind of settled. It's been almost a year now. Philip's come out of the limelight, and he's kind of put this situation to bed by paying off his lover. But as well, if you think about this young man whose identity I won't go into, it's probably well known within the industry and within the papers. And this man is probably finding it difficult to continue maybe a career in the media industry. So to be honest, this is not just about keeping him quiet about the fair, but it's also for him to have a living because as you can imagine, his identity is well known online and all these kind of places. So for yeah. him, he needs to now set a life again, minus poster scandal. And also, Ben, with Philip Schofield, you know, he hasn't legally done anything wrong with this no. affair. And so potentially there could be room for Philip Schofield one day in the future to pick up his broadcast in a career. Really? And the last thing, maybe. Uh, who is that you never know. Someone out there might still want him or maybe five years from now when the dust is really settled, he can pick up his career again and he wouldn't want any more of this information to get out there. Well, look, you, you never know. I mean, bizarre things have happened. Donald Trump became president, didn't he? So you never know. Yeah. Uh, and you make a great <laughs> point about the, uh, the young lad. Uh, on one side of the argument, I'm thinking, you know, he shouldn't be censored and, and muzzled like this. But on the flip side, apparently, according to the man on Sunday, he's, he's got a, a six-figure payout for the privilege. So hopefully he can rebuild his life like that. As for Felix, uh, Philip Schofield, where's he been? You said that he's made a, a reappearance recently. I've not seen that. Where, where's he been? Well, you know, he's been out, you know, he's still got a lot of celebrity friends. So, you know, the perhaps he's of interest to the paparazzi. So there's been many meetups that I've seen him. He's met up with someone like Vanessa Felt. So he's been here, there, everywhere, you know, and the pictures that I've seen of Philip in the newspapers, he still looks like he's in good spirits, but you never know. A picture can only tell so much. But, you know, this was once the face of morning TV. So he's definitely taken a tumble from grace. And, you know, recently, he sold the apartment, which apparently was where they were meeting up and um, conducting this affair. So I can imagine Philip is very yeah. desperate to put the chapter to bed. Well, yeah, certainly, certainly a fall from grace. And one particular quote from that Mail on Sunday story this morning says, uh, Philip Schofield has lost a lot, uh, but imagine if the full details came out, it would be pretty cataclysmic for him. Stephanie Tetchy, thanks very much for that. Uh, we did reach out to ITV for a comment. They're yet to respond. Um, so, yeah, we just have to take the men on Sunday at their word.